Caked in this powder is the latest innovation in 3D printing, replica body parts. Designs are based on CT scans of people, which are colored within a computer to create a file to send to a 3D printer. It builds a block of powder in thousands of incremental sweeps. With each sweep, the printer head injects solidifying colors into just a tiny proportion of the powder. As the block is lowered a tenth of a millimeter for each sweep, a detailed limb forms within. If we had a, a head, we'd printed a face and a head and all the muscles around the, the face and neck and it was rising out of the powder and it was very eerie but very amazing. The parts aren't suitable to implant in people. The biocompatibility needed for that is probably still many decades away. But accurate replicas of parts can be useful for training doctors. Traditionally, students learn from books, crude molded models, or occasionally from parts dissected from dead people's bodies, cadavers. Two hours a week, maybe. It's great having the cadavers there to have that 3D aspect, I suppose, or having that actual practical aspect to what you're learning in your textbooks. Um, and with only the two hours, I suppose you could argue that it is a bit less than what we would ideally want. Cadavers are rare and expensive, and in some cultures, they're taboo. There are some cultures and religions which frown upon the dissection or interference with a dead body. And I would like to think that the parts of the world where there are issues of teaching medical students with cadavers, that this could fill a unique niche. The accuracy of these models is what makes them special. Molded models can't get close. In time, the ambition is for fully dissectable printed body parts. So far, there hasn't been a complete body printed. There isn't yet a machine big enough to do it. This is actually a mix of body parts based on scans of different people, a modern model Frankenstein. So though this isn't the start of being able to print something that could be given life, for science teaching, it is a big footstep forward. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera, Melbourne.